Let us understand the average price and the weighted average price methods of inventory valuation, all coming under historical cost. Under valuation of interchangeable inventories. Average price, a simple average of all the prices. The closing inventory value would be taken as an average of 50, 55, 60, 62 and the opening inventory of 48. So there are five prices here which are involved. A simple average of these five prices that is 48 plus 50 plus 55 plus 60 plus 62 divided by 5 gives us 55. All issues would be valued at rupees 55. The closing inventory would be valued at 55. This is simple but it is not very popular nor considered very scientific since the quantities involved in the purchase at the different prices is not considered. If the batch size of each purchase is more or less same, this method could be applied, but otherwise this method is not usually used. So a simple average of all the prices involved during that period will give us the average price with which we value both inventory and cost of goods, all issues. Let us come to weighted average price method, a more scientific method of valuing inventory. Here both the prices and the relative quantities are considered in order to arrive at a price for issuing and valuing inventories. The closing inventory value per unit would be 500 into 48 which is the opening stock, 500 containers at rupees 48, then 1000 containers at rupees 50. So we have added 500 into 48 the total value of the opening inventory plus the total value of the purchases on 1st January that is 1000 into 50. Next, 2000 into 55, which is the total value of the purchases on 15th January. On 21st January, 700 at the rate of rupee 60. 700 into rupee 60. And again, on 31st January, the total value of the purchases is 1300 containers at the rate of 62. 1300 into 62. This total value, value, Quantity into price. Total value of the purchases forms the numerator divided by the total number of units. Total value of the purchases. What is value of purchases? Price per unit into the total quantity. The total value, summation of this is the total value of the purchases forms the numerator and in the denominator we have the sum total of all the units purchased. This gives us a weighted average price. In this instance it is 55.75. The inventory would be valued at 55.75 and all issues during that period would also be valued at 55.75. 75.